Plants vs. Zombies, a game that came out 15 years ago in 2009, and I want to get every single achievement, which means beating the game, getting 21 of the Steam achievements. Starting with beating the damn game. Okay, you get the idea. So we put in our name, start the adventure, and I'm now realizing that I didn't explain Plants vs. Zombies. So here's the rundown. We are given 5 lanes that we need to defend from the zombies using our plants. If the zombies are to overwhelm our plants, we get a lawnmower for each of the lanes. And we beat the level, and we get our first achievement and beat the game. Understand? Cool. Cause now we're bowling. <laughs> Everything we learned is out the window, but we get the potato mine and our first achievement. <clears throat> so we beat 1 6 and get our snow pea, get what I think is the worst plant, and pea shooter, but again, we get a cherry bomb, put it down, and get our second achievement of the run. And we get the strongest plant in the game. Zero sun! What were they thinking? Night levels. Man, what the fuck? So we unlock the almanac. Awesome. We bug some zombies. Cool. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, this world is not that interesting. They give us the puff shroom, so all the levels look like this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip. Disco zombie. So we use a hypno shroom on it and get our third achievement of the run and we can get out of the night levels. We have entered the pool. There is a pool achievement. We got the pool achievement. 4 out of 22. 8,000 sun. Achieved. 5 out of 22. Subscribe to the channel. I'll wait. 6 out of 22. We get Pea Shooter again, again, again. Spend our college savings on an extra seed slot. And we unlock the shop. Which we can't use because we're poor and spent our money on a seed slot. And by the way, can we talk about this guy? He looks so cool. And look at him in Plants for Zombies too. What is that? Anyway, so we finish 310, we get our little guy, and we get our Penny Pincher achievement. No. <laughs> Not covering another night level. Oh, the roof. The incline stops us from using straight shooters. So we have to use these weird catapult plants. What am I doing? So we get the cornipult, unlock the zen garden, which is basically infinite money, and we finish the roof, get a note, Oh my god, it's just a boss, thank god. Saw boss isn't too hard. We just use jalapenos and bing, bang, boom. Finish the boss, get our trophy. Homeland security is done. Roll the credits. By the way, I do all of these runs live, so check me out. Or don't. Do whatever you want. Also, 0% of you are subscribed. This is not a choice. Subscribe, please. This is a real screenshot. I'll do a, a fuck. I'll do a whimper audio at 100 subs. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So adventure mode is done. Seven out of twenty-one. And taking a look at what we've missed. Oh, mustache mode. How could I have forgotten? So we type mustache. Get eight out of twenty-one. And now I guess we have to go do some bowling. Alright, look at this. Look at how satisfying this is. This is just... Oh my god, it's crazy. Watch, watch, watch. One, two, three, four, five. It's fucking crazy. Nine out of 21. And now we have to do all of the mini games. I'ma just put this here. And Begooled! It's like match three plants versus zombies. Invisigool! All the zombies are invisible. Seeing stars. We complete the star mural. Zomb Aquarium. I don't know what this is. Big Gold Twist. Match 3 again. Big Trouble Little Zombies. All the zombies are really small. Portal Combat. There's portals now. 
bobsled bonanza. It's bobsleds and zambonis. Nimble zombie, nimble quick. It's 2x speed. Whack a zombie. Cool. Last stand. You get a set amount of sun and no sunflowers. Salt machine. It's just gambling. Walnut bowling too. It's not as satisfying, but the walnuts are huge. Poco party. It's all pogo zombies. Zombiony. All of the zombies are plants now. Zombiony too. All of the zombies are plants now again. It's raining seeds. It's raining seeds. Call them like you see them. The plants get planted in a column. Dr. Zomboss's Revenge. It's just Dr. Zomboss again. 10 out of 21. Oh, we're not even halfway done. Okay, we go a little faster. We finished a daytime level using only mushrooms. It's not that hard, honestly. 11 out of 21. With our newfound minigame money, we get a last plant, and Morticultures is done. I Zombie Endless isn't too hard, we beat it pretty easily, 13 out of 21. This one, China Shop, is a pain in the ass, but I'll save you the blood, sweat, and tears. We finish it, 14 out of 21. This took me hours. Finish the nighttime level without mushrooms, the nighttime levels are really easy. I should have done this one before China Shop, but you know what, 15 out of 21, it's fine. Uh, we find the Yeti zombie, 16 out of 21, look at him down there, bottom right. He's rich as hell for some reason, holy shit. And we finish a roof level without catapult zombies, and we use the cob cannon to kill two gargantuars, and that just leaves us with three more achievements. So the last two achievements are Towering Wisdom, which isn't too hard because we have the Zen Garden, and Immortal. <laughs> Immortal is the biggest pain in the ass achievement in the game, in my opinion. Survive 20 waves of pure zombie ferocity, but the pure zombie ferocity just looks like this. It's just using the cop cannon at the end of the lawn for half an hour straight and it's the most mind-numbingly boring achievement that I've gotten in any video game but alas we get it we sell our zen garden feed the tree and that's plants vs zombies 100% complete <laughs>